These teams top three in the Big Ten. The Huskers 3-0 in Big Ten played for the first time since their first year in the conference 2011-2012. Looking to go to 4-0 for the first time since that same year today. It'll be Nebraska starting out with the first possession of this game. Jazz Shelley gets all the way to the rim. The great rebounding guard follows her own miss. William Moore McNeil guarding Jazz Shelley early, just trying to cut things off and make angles tough for Shelley as she rounds the corner. Just saw Alexis Markowski encouraging her freshman teammates, wanting to get those passes inside. That one just off target, starting with a turnover. You have to be careful when post passing. Make sure you can see the numbers on the front of the jersey before you get the ball inside. Good denial by Potts. Potts getting the assignment on Sydney Parrish. As Garzone goes to work in the paint, Mahomes. There'll be a turnover back to back to start this game. Terry Morin was thrilled with her team and how they came out. Although after the game, she said, we still have a lot to work on. She said, coach, she shot 100% in the first quarter. What do you mean? You still have so much to work on. But she's looking for defensive discipline and toughness for her team, especially on the road in the Big Ten. This team feels like it still has a whole lot of ceiling to try and meet. The Huskers almost force another turnover. It will stay Indiana basketball. But it's funny to talk about that game too, Megan, because Coach Warren said she didn't even realize that they started 15 for 15 until she saw that box score after the first quarter. That had to be a pleasant surprise, right? When you get the box score at a media timeout, I'm like, ah, oh, we haven't missed a shot yet. <laughs> Sydney Parrish lines one up from three, and she starts out with a make, the first for the Hoosiers. It gives you so much confidence as a player to see your first shot go in. Mentally, you're like, okay, I've got this. And that's exactly what happened to Parrish against Michigan last game. She hit her first couple of shots and had a monster game. She told us that exact same thing, too. She had been a, a little bit of a lull. Coach Morin oh. said a little bit frustrated. Great high-low work by the Huskers right there. Well, fantastic job for the Huskers.
The rest of foul number 32, Kendall Coley. Her first personal foul. Oscar's second team foul of the first quarter. Checking in for Indiana, number 52, Lily Meister. And at the line, shooting two shots for Indiana, number 14, Sarah Scallion. Two shots for Indiana, number 52, Lily Meister. in Big Ten play. The Hoosiers with the 22 to 17 lead. Slow Martin, Megan McEwen along with you and joined by today's guest of honor and all-time Husker great in Jordan Hooper whose number is up in the rafters as of today. Appreciate you joining us here for this game as we see Mackenzie Holmes go to work again in the pool about at the time too. I know you said that it's just being back here at People Bank Arena, but what were those emotions for you and seeing it go up? Um, yeah, lots of emotions. It's been a really emotional since I got the phone call, honestly, because I've heard from people I haven't spoken to in quite a while. Um, and being in this school is just important, you know, and I think it just shows my emotional show. I was told it was under three times you got that phone call. The call could have gone one way, and like, they, we, we get into it here. Like, we don't have a lot of things to do in Nebraska, so our sports are our <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> Well, right now, you and your brother are currently building a basketball court back out on your ranch. We, it was when we were younger. We had, we had we built it, or we had laid the concrete and paid for it. We didn't do that stuff, but yeah. So where did that love of basketball start? 
Um, honestly, I, would, I think it started when I was a third grader. That's when Coach Brew, um, he's my first and foremost coach forever for everything, taught me everything. So third grade, he said, yeah, to my mom, bring her in, we'll get a ball in her hands, and we'll start doing some basic stuff. And that's where it started. And just every time I would, not every time, those times I would remember in my head, it was always for him. And now it's even more so for him, you know. And that's made the big time so difficult to play in. You guys won a championship. You know what it takes to win at that level. But why is it so hard? Everybody is good. There's not one team that you're like, oh, we can. What was your favorite win at Nebraska in the Big Ten? Mm, I would say anytime we beat Purdue, <laughs> um, we would always have overtime games or, you know, they would just be intense games. Those are my favorite, I guess, Purdue and Michigan State. Probably. Those were the top teams in the Big Ten back, they were. back in the day, constantly, too. Yeah. yeah. We were reliving this time of the Big Ten. There's not a whole else like it. Listen, I'm just saying, a volleyball player named Jordan Hooper does not have the same effect as a basketball <laughs> player named Jordan Hooper. The one of the all-time greats. Let's call it fate. Of the Huskers, perhaps? That is what it looks like. A long play, Husker basketball. A clean look from Markowski. She drains it. If Alexis Markowski can keep knocking down three, she's going to be unguardable because it's going to spread the floor. People are going to have to come out on her. Experience with USA basketball over the last couple months. We also have to play against the best of the best to learn where I need to get better. Those are the things that don't show up in the stat sheet, but are huge plays for momentum and toughness. Scalia will push no numbers for the Hoosiers, but they do have trailers like Moore McNeil, uh, who lands the three. Because her ability to get to the basket, then she can knock down that three. You're going to have to pick your poison, and if you want to try to close out with her at the high hand or give her enough room to when she goes by you to keep up. Indiana also a pick your poison team with Holmes versus their three point shooting. Beyond the arc, they're eight of 12 as a team. Lepowski reading that double team. She wants it back, trying to get the angle against Holmes with that seal. One second left for Potts to hoist it up. And that will be a shot clock violation. Indiana is so good when they can get out and spread the floor in transition because they're so balanced and difficult to defend. Sydney Parrish, her first miss from three, started five for five. The seal and Potts puts it away inside. Potts beating Parrish down the floor. She was trying to get there, but Potts had the advantage getting deep in the paint. Markowski will be whistled for the foul. Footwork within five feet. Biggs, of course, they're able to bring their game out. Holmes, especially with the mid-range, and Markowski out the three-point between those two. I love it, and it's what the Big Ten is known for, having that traditional back-to-basket post that allows you to establish an inside-outside game. Jazz Shelley, 0 for 4, has not scored, trying to avoid making it back-to-back -back halves. Without scoring, here's another freshman stepping Whipping it inside, Mackenzie Holmes gives Scalia the assist that easy. One second left for Nisley to hoist it. That was over. to stew for quite some time over that buzzer beating loss by Caitlin Clark excited for how they're going to respond look Michigan State is a very good team this year they could finish in the top four in the league Indiana's Mackenzie home coming off that game against Michigan where they started 15 of 15 and it has not slowed down one bit they're so balanced and that's what makes Indiana dangerous Holmes still calling for it against Markowski Opens the lane for more McNeil to find gear zone. She misfires fires in there. There's a do-it-all player in Sippy Parrish. The seal again by Holmes. She stays up and finishes. Four jerseys outside of the three-point line. It just allowed Mackenzie Holmes to have all the room in the world to go one-on-one. -on -one. 17, make that 13 points for Holmes. What a pass there by Shelley. Holmes again, the position, and the other foul on Markowski. 
Stewart in for Alexis Markowski. We see Markowski's hugging Holmes on her waist. It's frustrating for Nebraska. Three personals for Markowski, as you mentioned, forcing her to go to the bench. Scalia lets it fly from three and snatching it down is Holmes. Scalia flying to the rim, but an offensive foul. Shelly will wait for that screen, resetting this offense. Five to shoot for Potts, the freshman. A difficult spot, finds one for three, and falls through. Better job by Nebraska, getting some work to south action going, getting to the teeth of the defense for an open look. Quick decision by Holmes, double team never had a chance, she can't put it down. Stewart inside to Potts, goes right at Parrish and earns the end one has played a lot of minutes so far for a freshman. She's had back-to-back -back games of all her scoring coming. More McNeil gets the step and puts it away. Talk about lulling someone to sleep then exploding to the rim just like that. Missley left all by herself. Can't drain the three. Defense! Parrish left alone and a splash. Once again, the floor has spread so well for the Hoosiers. Kevin Parrish open looks all day. 20 points already for Sydney Parrish. This is back with a fadeaway. And Parrish had even more time to let it fly. Parrish has that knocked away. Pop standing her ground and off the effort. Especially defending your home court if you're the Huskers. Stewart, beautiful score and another three for the Huskers. That's what Stewart does. She shoots three. You gotta get a high hand on her. Moore McNeil at the rim at. Unbelievable what she's been able to do from three point land as of late. But then she also brings so many little things: the offensive rebounding, the defense, the effort that we've come to associate with her, as well as the shooting and great size as well. Shelly gets her way to the Lamondola gets it off in time, but the rebound snatched down by Coley. Alan Hake leaving it for Stewart, but there's the trailer. One more pass. It's Missley draining the three. Nebraska has an open opportunity. Now they've got the crowd. Fargusser. Getting Indiana has been able to eat into those Nebraska runs, keep them at bay from trying to close the gap. Stewart, oh, yeah. oh, three, that's back to back. Sister cannot go under and help that much when she comes up to hedge. She has to stay with the shooter. Scalia quieting this three punch Nebraska has brought in this third quarter. More McNeil does it. That's where it's good to have a senior on your app. Wolverines going up against future Big Ten member Washington. No, oh, it's crazy. That's going to be a conference game next year. Love inside to Stewart. Gets taken away by Parrish. Another example of the things she's able to produce beyond just shooting. She does everything on the floor. Uses her length to be disruptive at 6'2". She's long. She can get into passing lanes. Here zone firing it in. To Holmes. She's just doing her work. Alexis Markowski on the bench with four personal fouls. She's the Huskers leading scorer at 14 points. This lead puts on the brakes. The hook shot bounces out. But what stands out to me is those, are those assist numbers. 20 a game. That means that everybody on the floor is a threat to score at all times. And the defense has to pick its poison. Holmes does it once more. Kenzie Holmes up to 17 points on 8 of 10 shooting, just doing her post moves. Sydney Parrish tries to rip it away from elite footwork. And in that case, you have a freshman from Australia, Jessica Petrie, guarding her with Markowski in that foul trouble, which is 
Inside to Holmes. Can't hold on. One more try. And that time, so many of these fouls are preventable if teams just box out on the initial shot. I think too, Megan, you feel like you're working hard. You've made this player miss. No disagreement here. And that's why I look at awe at players like Mackenzie Holm. Yard and gear zone. The kick out to Petrie, far off target. Indiana quickly getting it over. <laughs> Deep post it for Holmes. The reverse, not there that time. But a better job by Petrie. Nebraska has to find a way to stop Mackenzie Holmes. Holmes, deep post up. Just that easy when you're Mackenzie Holmes. For the last couple of minutes. Nebraska has to make it difficult on the guards to get the ball inside to Mackenzie Holmes as well. Trying to work, and she draws the late whistle. Alexis Markowski has played just one minute in this third quarter when she picked up her fourth foul. Mackenzie Holmes has gone off for 11 points. She's effective when guarding Mackenzie Holmes. They were physical in the first half, pushing each other out of positioning. It's been a game changer for Indiana to have her on the bench. Darian White's too aggressive. Now Nebraska has not made a shot in the last three and a half minutes. Wednesday, we've got women's basketball live on Big Ten Plus when these losers take on Penn State. There's no plus like home. Directing traffic, shooting over Lily Meister. And the cold shooting for the Huskers will continue into the fourth. Two 20-point scores for the Hoosiers in Parrish and Holmes. Meanwhile, Nebraska ended that third quarter with four turnovers, no baskets in the last four minutes. Markowski with four personals knocks that away, igniting this fast break for the Huskers. Here is Nisley, and she's been a hot hand today. In transition, or trying to get some basket. Two threes today for the freshman, but has had some solid looks. Laura McNeil says, I'll take that if you're going to leave me wide open. Threat from long range. Josh Shelley doing a good job keeping the ball on one side of the floor for Indiana. Markowski, 14 first points, goes to work against Holmes. Laura McNeil draws multiple defenders, leaves it off to home. That's just beautiful. But it's still breathtaking. And it's like art. Markowski throws up a difficult shot. And Holmes loses it. And oh, okay, she's but with the exception of some Northwestern players, she has never seen someone get so many deflections. Speaking of Veronica Burton, of course. Scalia. Puts the bounce on the road. And Indiana feeling good. She's getting deep position. She's got to be really good, man. Holmes gets the seal. The help defense, though, is there this time. Great help. Opening up Scalia. Yes! Even though we've come to expect nothing but efficiency from this team in the country. You're playing with a different basketball. Your depth perception is different with the hoop. Right now, Indiana having no issues right now. And another high percentage shot. Indiana's been able to slice this defense at times because they move the ball so well and fast and efficiently. And they've been able to take care of this Nebraska team that entered today winning seven of their last eight is Nisley. Women's basketball here. Now a lot of people love women's basketball, but the Huskers loved women's basketball before it was cool to love women's basketball. This is also a season high attendance here at PBA. Over 9,000 here in the stands of Scalia. It has been the big four this afternoon for Indiana. Scalia with 19. More McNeil. It's come because of the inside-outside game established. 
It's what we saw against Michigan with the Hoosiers as well. They've been able to... Big Ten Hoops presented by Jeep tonight only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app when it comes to scoring. But Jazz Shelley is one of the best guards in the Big Ten. She's so crafty. She's smart. And allowed her to be a playmaker. Yeah, it feels like four assists for her is on the low end when she's top three. This is still a very good Nebraska team. It's a long conference season. We're in the first week of January wrapping up here. And it takes some time to get used to play as a unit once you get to tougher, bigger teams. Callan Hayes dropping it off to Markowski. Takes her time and lays it in off the glass. I vaguely remember a shot, maybe. Maybe it ended the game. Uh, by Caitlin Clark, right? Yeah, that one. No, but it's been a fun it's series so fun. over the last couple of seasons as both these teams have ascended in the big ten. Because you have the Lady Lions shooting, or I should say scoring, nearly 90 points per game against one of the best defensive teams in the Big Ten in these Hoosiers. Penn State also presses at a high level, so Indiana's going to have to handle that pressure and their attempts to speed them up. That's going to be a very fun game. Penn State much improved this season. We still were able to reach 3-0 and in Big Ten play for the first time since their premier season in the Big Ten. She's already got one buzzer beater under her belt, and this one sets up nicely for the week to come. Indiana coming away from Lincoln with an emphatic victory over a strong Nebraska team. 91-69, the final here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Indiana 91, Nebraska 69.